Hello, this is part four of the sculpting game assets workflow. In this series, we're making a simple wooden plank. And in this one, we're baking out our textures. Okay, so we're ready for baking now. Now I'm in Blender Render, and I think that's much better for baking than Cycles. Cycles seems to now and again come up with glitches. So I strongly suggest Blender Render. I'm just gonna get rid of the timeline and pull out a UV image editor. So I've got the UV image editor here. And the first thing we need to do is unwrap it. So make sure you're in edit mode and U to unwrap, smart UV project. 66 is very good for the angle limit for this piece of wood and an island margin of 0.03. And you can see it's done quite a nice job. It's got two big pieces and then the side pieces are fairly small over there and it's not wasting too much space. Now the best way I've worked out how to do this is not to go into the materials and change anything in there you just need to stay in the UV image editor and in the baking tab down at the bottom of the render here. So if we press new and create a wood plank three for me because I've done two of these before, norms. And I'm gonna make them big textures, 2048 by 2048. It's easier to go down and resize them down than it is uh, to add detail and go upwards. So those are quite big image textures but for the sake of this tutorial, so you can see all the changes that I make nice and easily, we'll keep them high. You don't need the alpha, because there's no transparency and it will just make your file size bigger. Okay, there we go. So now all we need to do is select our high poly, make sure it's visible, and make sure it's on smooth shading. And our shift select our low poly, and make sure that's on smooth shading as well, just double check. And we double check where it's going. It's got wood plank three norms selected at the moment. We go into edit mode, and yes, it's wood plank three norms that we're baking to. So you must make sure you're in edit mode to see that. Let's go to normals under the render, the bake tab, normals and selected to active. So we've selected the wood high poly and our active is the last one selected, which is wood low poly. And you can actually select lots of objects and bake to the last active one. So whatever you select last is the active. Okay, we can press bake. And it took a few seconds and I'll just come out of edit mode so you can see it. That's a nice bake. Uh, you can see some discoloration here and maybe a tiny bit around here, but I think that's more the bleed where it's going over the edges. So there may be a tiny problem there, but I don't think it'd be too bad. So we save that image, save image as, wood plank three norms, that's great. So back into edit mode, let's create a new texture and we'll do the ambient occlusion. So this time it's called wood plank 3 AO. Uh, same size, no alpha, that's great. And on the bake settings, we're going to ambient occlusion. Make sure normalize is ticked, and we've already got wood high poly selected and wood low poly selected last, so we don't need to change that at all. The thing you need to double check is go into object mode, back into edit mode, and just make sure that that is wood plank 3 ambient occlusion. Occasionally, you might have added it in object mode and you'll accidentally be baking on the wrong texture. So let's bake that. This one takes a bit longer. Now that's great, but we can see it's a bit grainy. And in order to change that, you need to change the sample. So in the world tab, you come down to here where it says gather and you can put that up to 10. You can put it up higher if you like, but 10 I've found is fine. Back to our bake and let's bake again. And there we go, not so grainy. That should do us nicely. Save that. Wood plank three ambient occlusion, that's great. And the last one we want to get is a cavity map. So in this case, we go to our high poly. Uh, we can deselect our low poly for now so we can just see the high poly. We go across to vertex paint and we say paint dirty vertex colors. and it gives us this nice effect where it's painted in the crevices with black and the highlights with white. And to get that information to our low poly, we select our low poly, so make it visible, shift select that, so we've got wood high poly, wood low poly selected last, then down to our bake panel and choose vertex colors. Again, selected to active, but what I haven't done yet is created a map for it to bake to. So let's add, whilst we've got wood low poly selected, 
add a new map, wood plank cav for cavity. And now if I press bake now, what I haven't done is I haven't gone into edit mode to see what it's baking to. And you can see it's still on wood plank three ambient occlusion. So I need to change that to wood plank three cavity whilst in edit mode to know what it's baking to. Press bake. And usually that's quite quick and that looks very nice. So image, save image, wood plank three cavity. So now we have our three textures, normals, ambient occlusion, and cavity. In the next episode, I'll be going through bringing those into cycles and hooking them up and playing around with them until we get a lovely wood plank texture. Hope you're enjoying the series. Please comment and let me know if you're enjoying it. Good or bad comments, it's all great for me. I really enjoy getting the feedback. And thanks for watching.